Hi, my name's Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. OK, so I have found a way to get back into the lab, and uh, the internet wasn't working here a few days back, but I've managed to find a way to get that back switch back on. And so uh, I am going to hopefully be in a position to do the test that I've been wanting to do since 2017 or really 2018 with the Nova Supernova series. So in 2017, I bought some potassium carbonate here and I've discussed a few reasons why I wanted to use that in the past. And I'm going to give some more detail on that hopefully tomorrow. And I also bought some boron oxide here, you can see. Uh, uh, also in 2017 for the use in the Nova, but uh, I've held back on that until I could test when I got the Supernova. And uh, owing with things that are going on in the world, uh, we have a, a better uh, mask to use, uh, which is good. And uh, I have uh, this metal shielding because, um, and actually one of the reasons I, I've not wanted to test this was because the person that made this and the, the MFMP's Nova reactor um, died of, uh, as far as I understand it, cancer. And so uh, I, given the fact that Matsumoto died of cancer, uh, Ken Shoulders died of cancer, Yuji Bajatov died of cancer, uh, um, Norris Peary died of cancer, there might be a significant risk. And in part, what I'm looking to do with this carbon here, this carbon, which is actually charcoal uh, from uh, uh, lumpwood charcoal. Uh, and what I'm intending to do in this experiment is to establish potentially why those people were getting cancers and uh, so what I intend to do actually is to produce a big shield with this foil and with this and I've got this shielded uh, headset here um, for the operation I've got a remote operator you will see here before and I will operate from a distance uh, and it will all be um, hopefully I'll hope hoping to actually do these tests uh, with webcam and live streaming, live streaming the data. And one of the things that I will be looking to get is, um, I, I talked about how I expect uh, or, or potentially there will be um, uh, reverse uh, beta decay, uh, stimulated decay of carbon-14 and potassium-40. And I'll go into more detail about that uh, tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, the way that beta could be seen is uh, basically through this uh, end of the uh, fused quartz a reaction vessel so I would look to have the um, beta monitor looking down the hole of uh, the reactor here and hopefully uh, we may see some uh, increased beta detections uh, coming from the reactions going on in there. Uh, what I'll also intend to do is to put on the outside here and also in the sort of semi kind of a line of fire uh, of the port here um, some uh, um, these self-developing dental x-rays uh, some on the crack here and some here and and these, these over here would be trying to see uh, if there are any uh, strange radiation that are in dark mode, i.e. they can actually get through the aluminium. The ones over here would be looking for ones that are uh, uh, maybe white EVs and, and, and see if they, they were there. And I would also be looking to strap uh, neodymium strong ND52 magnets in, in uh, 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 various orientations onto those X-rays around to try and suck out these... Um, exotic vacuum objects uh, and these uh, strange radiation, uh, whatever they are, um, uh, in, in the same way that I did with the Echo Fuel in 2017. So I'm really excited that there's an opportunity both in time, uh, in where we are with what's going on in the world, to uh, actually finally get around to doing these experiments. I, I have, as you will see tomorrow in my presentation, I have some extremely specific reasons for why I have uh, chosen these things uh, to conduct tests. And um, uh, I mean, this will, this will actually be conducting the tests. Some of the analysis can be done uh, at Alan Goldwater's Magic Sound Lab with his uh, SEM EDS. Um, and other work will need to be done on a beam line. But I will... Um, uh, go into that and and the costs that are necessary there but um i'm quite excited uh maybe we can get some real-time data from uh the the x-rays um uh, those uh from from the beta counter rather and uh, other maybe um uh data from the uh, rf monitor here as well uh 
So uh, that, that's about it. Uh, so uh, I hope to, within the next several days, be able to do some live experiments with this. Thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.